YouTube? It's this big pile of junk that I'm showing you. Well, it's a pile of junk that's actually smaller than it used to be. This is about a third of the papers, photographs, and ephemera from my mother's house, um, which my grandparents also lived in for 25 years. I have been going through all of this stuff for the past year and cataloging it and organizing it and excavating it. <laughs> and I'm gonna share some of these interesting little things that I found with you. I hope they will be at least sort of interesting to my audience. What you're looking at here is the Watchtower magazine for most of the 1930s and 1940s. When my mother was a child, there was a house fire. Yuck. And they actually saved this pile of watchtowers and they put them in the shed for I don't know 50 years or something <laughs> until I found them when I was going through things at the farm so um, that explains why the edges are burned they were rescued from a house fire don't know why they went to the trouble of rescuing the watchtowers but they did are these worth anything like does anybody want partially burned watchtowers? Should I make an art project out of them? I don't know. This is the closet full of, of archived materials. This is in addition to what is on the pool table, which hasn't been used to play pool for some time. And it consists of approximately 20,000 photographs dating from 1898, I believe to the present, or to last year at least. There are also uh, boxes and boxes of ephemera, all kinds of things. Of course, Watchtower crap has its own closet. And my husband has most kindly stored the extra toilet paper up here <laughs> with these ridiculous books. Um, of course, this isn't all of the books. Um, some of them are still boxed up, and some of them are on a shelf upstairs, the really old ones. But right here, I have all of the elders' manuals, going back to the beginning of elders' manuals, um, and publication indexes, and there's an old pay attention, yeah. Um, so lots of material, enough material like I don't even I don't even know um, and this is also not the duplicates because there are cabillions of each thing that I found um, I, I actually think I filled an entire dumpster with bound volumes when I was cleaning out last year okay so today's crazy old paper is a letter that I found and this is hilarious my mother had this habit of when she would write a letter, she would make a copy of it. But it wasn't like she would just print off a copy or anything. She actually hand wrote a copy of every letter that she ever wrote anyone. And boy, did she ever write some doozies. So I have this letter that I found that she wrote to my high school in 1995, which would have been my junior year, requesting early dismissal. I was able to do that because I had already completed a lot of the credits that I needed for graduation. And so rather than let me um, do the, the college prep program and you know start getting credits toward college or whatever, she felt that early dismissal would be a better thing. And so she wrote this letter without really consulting me and I did not know until I found this recently what she actually said to the school. I know you're dying to know because you know. I am asking you to give my daughter Bridget early dismissal next year from school for religious and future reasons. <laughs> she is a very good student and makes excellent grades. Yes I was and yes I did. Even more reason why I should have been in the college prep program. But anyway, I realized that academically she would be a good candidate for college, but that is not her goal in life. Anybody who talked to me, well, actually this was before my realization that I actually could go to college, but yeah, anybody who talked to me for very long would know that this is not true. 
Anyway, my daughter Bridget has the desire to use her life and talents in serving as a missionary. Our organization of Jehovah's Witnesses has an educational center in Patterson, New York, where they receive training to become a missionary, but in order to be accepted there, she must do a similar work in her home country for a few years to prove her true interest. We have an arrangement called Auxiliary Pioneering, which calls for a person to spend 60 hours a month talking to persons in our neighborhood, persons, persons, in our neighborhood about God and the Bible and studying the Bible with them in their own homes free of charge. This is what my daughter Bridget is asking for early dismissal each day to do. If she can spend an average of two and a half or three hours a day in this type of ministry, it will count toward the time she needs to qualify to go to the educational center in Patterson, New York after her graduation. She will probably have to spend a year or more after graduation in what we call regular pioneering, which requires her to spend 90 hours a month in this community Bible educational work. So you see that our request to you for this early dismissal is just trying to get her started on her plans toward her goals. Okay, these were not my plans and these were not my goals. Oh my God, this was like the worst idea <laughs> that anyone could have possibly had for me. But I didn't even know about it. This was my mother planning my future for me without my consent. Anyway, just as your students who have been taking college preparatory classes are doing in their goals of entering college, my daughter does not desire to go to college, but she desires to help her fellow man in this manner, which to me is a very something, I don't know what that word is, a very something-ish goal. Okay, I didn't desire any of this. <laughs> This cracks me up. Like, what is she talking about? I, I, my idea of hell would be regular pioneering for a year after graduation. Like, I'm starting to freak out a little bit thinking about this. I feel so strongly about helping her make sure this is what she really wants to do. <laughs> that I am planning to take her to visit some missionary friends of ours in Africa this summer for a month, which we did do. And it was pretty awesome, but I still had no intention of becoming a missionary. Like, no. I know that this request is out of the ordinary and that you do not, by law, even have to consider my or my daughter's request at all, but we would appreciate it very much if you would consider letting her have early dismissal during her junior and senior year for the above stated purpose and reasons. Thank you for your cooperation in this connection. That doesn't make sense. Whatever. Sincerely, my mom. Okay, but actually they did have to consider it because it was like a district policy. You could request early dismissal if you had enough credits that you didn't need to take like a full schedule for graduation. And I don't get junior and senior year because this was like mid-junior year. So, I don't know. This is weird. But the funny part is my mother made up this whole narrative about who I was and what I, what I was going to do with my life that had no relation to reality at all. Like, I never... I never wanted to go to Patterson. I never wanted to go to Gilead and be a missionary. Like, I, I don't even, especially not at this point in my life. I, I just, I, I got nothing, man. This is crazy town.